So much to talk to Sophie Ellsworth about in the media. Great to talk to you again, Sophie. Sophie writes for the Australian newspaper. Of course, we're squeezed for time. But, gee, lots happening in the media, but tragic news today all of a sudden out of Channel 10, the MasterChef franchise and the untimely death of one of the judges. That's right, Chris. Jock uh, Zonfrillo was uh, unfortunately found dead at the early hours this morning in Ligon Street, Melbourne. Uh, there was an emergency call to uh, police to check on him and he was found uh, dead. This is shocking news. It's rocked the entertainment uh, and the food industry particularly. He was very well known and MasterChef was meant to kick off its next season tonight. So yeah. Yeah, just a uh, very sad state of affairs. Very sad. Yeah, uh, shocking. Fa father of four and uh, and 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 a wife and um, ju just a terrible situation. As you say, the program was going to kick off the latest series tonight. Here's the promo. Jock Zonfrillo, only 46, uh, and now we just don't know whether this series will be shown now, I suppose, Sophie. Well, that's the next thing, Chris. Uh, Channel 10 have said it's off air all of this week, but it remains to be seen what they will do with the series. But I think everyone's just coming to terms with this shock news. He was meant to do a lot of publicity today, and obviously... Uh, that all didn't happen. Yeah, just terrible, just terrible. Now, I want to follow up on another story relating to Indigenous affairs and the ABC. A lot of controversy about the use of a term white supremacy and the reporting from Alice Springs earlier this year. Here's a reminder. The community is more divided than ever. And here is one resident's reaction to uh, news that business owners want to sue the government. But instead they want to take punitive approaches. They want to reward the landlords. And it's just a total white supremacist fest in there. And I'll tell you what, the vibe, it was scary. Yeah, and that's the uh, feeling expressed by so many people at this uh, meeting that was cut short, as you say, Carly. Yes, Sophie, we've spoken before about how so many people in Alice Springs rightly felt slighted by that reporting and we heard that the reporter wasn't even in the room, but now there's some legal consequences? That's right, Chris. So Garth Thompson, who led that town meeting with thousands of people in attendance, has issued a legal notice uh, to the ABC. He wants stories retracted with those white supremacy claims. Uh, and he also wants an apology to the town of Alice Springs. He said he's been absolutely hauled over the coals. He's received immense vitriol uh, because of this, because he led the event. I uh, said the ABC has made the town a joke. Chris, their reporting on this was nothing short of disgraceful and that's what happens when you live in a bubble. How this got through, I think people are still scratching their heads. So let's see what happens with his legal letter that he sent the ABC. Well, you would have thought the ABC's got to make good on here, both in terms of improving the coverage and apologising because these issues are ongoing. Their reporting has to be ongoing, right? Well, certainly it does, Chris, especially in the lead-up to the vote in the referendum. But uh, this is a mess. It will not go away for the ABC. And there's a lot of people still very upset with the public broadcaster over this, Chris. Thanks for joining us, Sophie. I appreciate it. Sophie Ellsworth, you can read her stuff in The Australian. The ABC also running some really weird stuff on tax cuts and the like. They like spending your money just after they got their 11% pay rise with sign-on bonus.